You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days fans. I've got a comings and goings update for you. It looks like Blake Barris is coming back, but not as Nick Fallon. Maybe a new role, maybe a recast. So Days of Our Lives casting chatter has been just bubbling with this talk that Blake is back. The timing on this tidbit is ironic because they've dug him up before for, you know, dark deeds that need done when plot lines get wonky but here's the scoop on his reported return and the big twist in store hey if you haven't already please reach down click subscribe so you don't miss any of our day's updates now let's talk about this so just a quick reminder if you're checking your memory bank wondering the last time you saw blake barris on days the answer is february 24th 2023 yep it was just a few months ago he did a handful of episodes as part of the marlena kate and Kayla being dead, but not really dead up in heaven. And then mm, it was just, it was so weird and wonky. You may recall Nick was a minion of the devil. If my memory is reliable and I think it is, he tricked the not so dead ladies into signing away their souls. Thanks to a hinky contract. And then I think Marlena went and sacrificed herself to save them, but none of them were really dead. So I'm still retroactively trying to figure out the point of that whole heavenly scape thing since they were all in these cryo tubes and weren't dead at all. Anyway, prior to that subterfuge with Kayla, Kate, and Marlena, it had been a year and a half before that that we had last seen Blake. For Halloween 2021, they dug up Nick Fallon as part of a wave of zombies in their standalone story they do each year on the NBC soap. He was getting all skeevy around Salem along with fellow creeper Charlie Dale, another dead villain who rose from the grave to torment the denizens of Salem. Salem. This time, though, it looks like Blake Barris will not play Nick, but either a new character or a recast of an old character, but it looks more like maybe a new character. So this day's... <laughs> I'm struggling. I don't want to to call it a rumor because it's got more legs than a rumor, but it's not quite confirmed. I feel like it will be very soon. So the day's chatter is that Barris is going to play the ex of Stephanie Johnson, who shows up at her door on Friday, October 27th, briefly. And usually, as you know, something happens on Friday. It picks right back up again on Monday, usually repeating most of Friday's scene. So I expect to see Blake Barris assuming that this is accurate, on Friday for a hot minute and then more thoroughly on Monday. Assuming this chatter is true and transitions from pretty firm speculation to spoiler, it is 100% assured that Blake Barris will not play Nick for a couple of reasons. Uh, one notably being that he's dead and it's too early to dig him up for haunting purposes again because they're not going to dig people up until Tuesday the 31st. So the big question is whether this is an ex that we've heard about or seen before or as a, you know, a recast or this brand new ex. So she was involved with Philip Kiriakis in the past, but it's definitely not Philip because he just exited Salem with Chloe and with J.P. Lavoise in that role. She also also dated Nathan Horton once, and he's not been seen in Salem for more than a decade. Another of her exes was Max Brady, who was last seen more than a decade ago with another woman settling into a new life in London. For that reason alone, Max seems less likely than Nathan if this is a recast, if they're dredging up past characters. And then there's the possibility of Jeremy Horton, who ran out of Salem back in 2007 to avoid arrest by the ISA for a fabric smuggling scheme. You got to catch those people that are uh, smuggling those those bolts of illegal fabrics. You know, you never know what they're going to do with them. They might be mainlining some off-market taffeta, taffeta or something. Ugh. So of the three X's... If it is an ex, to me, it feels like Nathan is the likeliest of the three because Max had alternate life plans and Jeremy was running from the law. But the easiest thing would be to invent an ex from her time in Seattle, and that may be what is in store. 
We will know more soon. I'm certain that we'll be able to confirm this casting chatter, including his role and what's next pretty soon. But for now, I just wanted to tell you guys about this because I am so excited at the notion of Blake Barris being back. I mean, Nick, you know, not a nice guy. But Blake, great actor. I honestly enjoyed it when uh, Barris was back tormenting the ladies up in the great beyond and playing mind games with them. He's always fun. I assume that the main point of bringing in an ex for Stephanie is to light a fire under Chad Demera. You remember he was way more protective and proprietary about her when Alex Kiriakis was sniffing around. Remember, he was practically peeing in the halls to mark his territory when he found out Alex moved in across the way. And then, you know, it was Abigail Demera's birthday, and all of a sudden, Chad changed his tune and started acting like he wasn't ready to get serious with Stephanie. I mean, really, they've been serious almost from the get-go. In fact, I recall, and I wonder if you guys recall, Stephanie and Chad had this very serious chat. They sat down at the Horton house. It was when they had just kind of started seeing each other, and they talked about how they couldn't really date casually because he has two kids who were going to quickly get attached to a mother figure because they had lost their mother. Stephanie decided, I'm game for it. I can be the Insta stepmother figure. She was all in. Chad was all in. So for him to pull the rug out from under her, to me, just feels like crap. And to me, them writing Chad doing this is all to set up the ex-boyfriend story. The big question is whether Stephanie's got warm feelings for this guy or if he's some sort of nightmare ex. I mean, I'm torn because I want her to have feelings for this guy so it'll drive Chad crazy, but I kind of want him to be a nightmare ex because Blake is so good at being bad. So you know that he could play a nightmare ex really, really well. But again, I hope we get a kinder, gentler, very different character that would be something new for us to see Blake Bears pay, play. Um, and so I hope he knocks on the door ready to rekindle with her and tempt her away from Chad. Because let's be real, Chad Demera needs to be slapped with a reality check right upside his smug face. I'm not saying he isn't entitled to his grief. I'm saying he's not entitled to string Stephanie along and do her dirty at this point when she's basically been the kid's stepmom and acting as a wife all these months. You know, he could have hired a nanny. He could have dated someone else, but this is what he did. So I feel like Chad needs to step up and man up. Anyway, so basically we can't have Chad threatened by Alex anymore because Alex is dealing with the whole Teresa slash Gwen thing. Can we call her Gwenisa? I enjoy the actress, but I'm still not quite fully seeing her as Teresa. So in my mind, I'm saying Gwenisa. He is not dropping by Chad and Stephanie's place all buff and shirtless and sizzling hot because he's betting Teresa right now. So there needs to be another threat to yank Chad into line. I'm not a big fan fan of love triangles, but I am hyped about this Blake Bears return talk. So we will see. And as soon as I have, as I have confirmation, I'm going to drop more details for you. Thank you for talking days of our lives with me. I love that you guys show up here every day to listen, drop your comments below, click a like if you enjoyed this news and definitely click subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 